Welcome back to Stellaris. Now, the time I'm recording this, uh, Paradox has released 263 onto the uh, beta branch. And apparently that's not save game compatible with uh, 262 that I'm currently playing on, I believe. So if that becomes pushed to the official branch, I'm going to have to uh, continue playing on uh, this version because I don't want to start a new series when we are doing so well on this one. So just so that's out of the way, there are some rather extensive balance changes in uh, 263. But since it's on the beta branch, it probably won't be out for at least another week, so... Anyways, we are in this uh, war with these uh, sluggish people and we've occupied everything they have so uh, we have to wait for all our ships to get back down here so we can take them the long way around and up here. Now, we might actually start building some ships uh, while we wait. Um, I don't remember what the actual... Uh, this is the wrong dialogue. Uh, ship designer, please. Because I want to have one picket fleet using corvettes and destroyers and one battleship fleet when we get to that point. Let's have a spinal mount bow. Um, is it this one? No, it's actually neither of these ones. I want the one that goes completely through. I think it's arc lightning. So we might have to take out those... Um, Weren't those up here somewhere? I don't remember where they were. I definitely remember that there was some place here that had... Um, oh, never mind. Cloud lightnings, at least. I, I, they were here somewhere, but someone else might have taken them out. I don't know. Uh, let's go with... Um, an artillery core and I guess an artillery stern as well since this kind this type of ships will be long range but we need to figure out what we're gonna put here first the range of this one is 80 80 130 100 120 so this one does 140 150 to 450, while this one does worse. But this one does better shield damage and better hull damage, so let's load it up with kinetic batteries. Which means that the... So this does shield damage, this one does armor damage. So we should then use a tachyon lance. And we can uh, outfit it with a couple of shields and a couple of armors, or rather the other way around. Well, this one doesn't really need advanced afterburners. But I think we'll put them on anyways. Um, and I guess we're going to have uh, an auxiliary, auxiliary fire control on it. Um, so this will be a BS Tachyon Kinetic. I guess this is a temporary design because this is not the one that I intend to be using uh, at the end of the uh, game. Let's make a, a Titan as well, shall we? New design, Titan. Of course we want the Titan bow, core and stern, not that we have much of a choice here. The Perdition beam, that's rather nice, it does less shield damage, but more armor and hull damage. Which means that we probably want to have the uh, kinetic batteries all fully loaded up on this one as well. Just get all of these in there. And I did forget to set the range. 120, 250. So we need to stay on artillery range. 
speed of this is 177. Let's give it one afterburner and... Do I want regenerative all tissue? Nah. So, since we can't really build that many titans, I guess we'll just call it titan. Which do we want of these ones? That one is nice, but not necessary. I think we'll go with the quantum destabilizer. This... can we take that? Yes, we can. I think we'll go with the targeting grid then. If we can... Yeah, it doesn't cost any... Like, that was where it would cost us nanites. So, tighten it is. Delete. Iron cannon? No, we don't need that right now. I don't think I'm going to use cruisers. Also, I noticed that there was one of these offices that has an available building, so we will build a corporate embassy here. This one is going to change. You, apparently, you shouldn't be able to build this unless there's at least 50 pops available on the planet, but uh, oh, that's fine. That's in the new patch, by the way. In case yeah, that wasn't clear enough. Okay, now the next thing we need to do then is take a look at the fleet. And in this fleet, we want to add Gorasus as the home base. I don't think we can build a Titan yet because I haven't built the Titan shipyard thing on that star base. Um, so this is. How much? 16. Okay. So let's just ramp this up to... Yeah, that looks fine. 56. My brain is a bit tired, so I'm not sure if that actually fits in with that currently. But uh, it'll be fine. It always will be fine. Uh, speaking of which, we should actually build the Titan uh, assembly yards there, which means we need to upgrade the star base. Let's upgrade it to Star Fortress, and we then, I think we actually have to have it at a Citadel level before we can uh, get it to be um, at that level. Um, I wish you could build Hyperlane Registrars as that one building, because that would be extremely useful to just have Hyperlane Registrars in all our systems. Silence. I probably will convert Silence from an anchorage to another shipyard so that these two are shipyards. Could potentially do it with this one, but no. Maybe it's quicker to go that way, actually. Yeah, I think it's quicker to go that way because they have actually occupied systems here. Instead of going all the way down there. But they have to go to Gorasus first anyways. Let's unpause the game. I've been spending 8 minutes 30 seconds babbling. That's probably not the most useful thing. Um, but in light of that, let's... Oh, the Enigmatic Cache Departs. Whatever the enigmatic Enigmatic's Cache Purpose... Okay. Whatever the enigmatic Cassius purpose here on Mosque of the Cuttlefish may have been, it has come to an end. But as, abrupt, as abruptly as it arrived, the enigmatic Cash is now leaving. A relief for the citizens of Mosque of the Cuttlefish. Let's uh, upgrade this to a starport. Ding, indeed. So we want the workplace motivators next. Resource output increased by 5%. And I also think we want to upgrade Selthen to a starport. Rather a star... No, I think it's a starport. And I decided that I didn't really need to have a defensive um, starbase here because... If these guys decide to attack me, it's going to be a disaster anyways. Because that means the Fallen Empire at the other side here is going to come say hello. 
which would be uh, even at our technological level rather fatal I guess we can go to fastest here while we're just waiting those ships are going to t spend some time I wish there was a hyper lane like from there to there or something that would be something that would be interesting actually if uh, if they gave you the option to make hyper lanes knowledge is the key to the universe okay so the sneeran has been secured that should be the final one of them Sneerans are large burrowing creatures that live beneath the dunes of the vast equatorial deserts on Kayam. When these predators sense movement in the sand above, they immediately raise dozens of tall spikes from their backs in the hope of impaling something edible. Finding a suitable specimen proved difficult at first, until hundreds of tracked remote-controlled drones were dispatched across the desert in random directions. This led to the discovery and procurement of an unusually large specimen that had grown more than a hundred spikes on its back. Excellent. Specimen secured. All of the specimens asked for by the Museum of Exobiology have been secured. The museum has grown to a massive facility where artificial gravity generators and atmospheric processors are used to simulate the environments of over a dozen worlds. Visitors are journeying from all across the Star Cult of the Tentacle to see its wonders. Excellent. 8,000 unity. Well now. 500 society research, 500 energy credits, which went right out the drain. And 40 influence. Hmm. 8,000 unity. That's very nice. We have completed the research of Durasteel Laced Alloys, which means that our metallurgists have 10% more output. By replacing antiquated Ceramo metal equipment with cutting edge technology, we can run our forges hotter and longer, increasing production. Uh, let's get the Giga Cannon then, since we are already using the. Uh... Wait, this is not the same one. This is the one we're using, the Kinetic Artillery. And for the other one, we have completed Arc Emitters. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one that I was actually uh, looking for. 100% shield and armor penetration. This is one of the better weapons in the game against the AI. Powerful weapons that launch a lightning arc of chaotic energy at targets, which in part can ignore armor and shields. In part, it's 100% penetration on both of them. Let's get the focused arc emitter next. Because, why not? Should try to get the cloud lightning though. Nothing of interest going on here. They are getting closer, but it's still going to take some time. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Then we have idyllic architecture, which gives us the paradise dome. That is an upgrade of the uh, residential building thing that you can build uh, here. With the latest advances in architecture, landscaping and holographic technology, we shall build the homes of the future. I guess we should go with the refit standards here. 20% less upgrade cost and 5% less upkeep. That's that's not half bad. Ah, we can upgrade the uh, planetary capital to a system capital complex. We've been waiting for that. And we have 33 available jobs here still. I'm wondering if we should remove the agricultural segment here now. 75 available housing. This is just ridiculous. Plenty of uh, population upgrade, uh, population growth. That's that's good. Construction completed. Oh, very good. Um, so we want a hyperlane registrar here. I guess we should use these as anchorage um, outposts. 
let's get station foundries and automated consumer goods factory and then we can start building anchorages and upgrade to the next level construction completed and we will do the same thing here Piper lane registrar station foundries automated consumer something something consumer goods factory for anchorages and upgrade it's not like we're having any issues with alloys currently in fact we are doing very well in terms of resources wish we could buy nanites on the market we can buy living metal i mean why not we have so much money that we'll sell something here I don't need living metal for anything currently, but we have unemployment here. One worker in unemployment. Okay, I guess we can start upgrading the uh, crystal plants then. They will turn minerals. We have a plenty of minerals, so that's not really uh, an issue. Also, the Temple of Wunderpus can have a new building, so let's get a temple here. And we also need more housing. I think we'll get a new mining district and a new city district. And they're finally getting closer. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Refit standards complete. Standardizing workflows for upgrading and retrofitting ship components can lead to massive efficiency gains. Indeed. Yeah, let's get the epigenetic... Epigenetic, yeah, epigenetic triggers. Not that I plan to uplift anything, but uh, let's just get it out of the way. What's next in the Senate, by the way? Minor military sanctions. All of these are things that I don't want. But I, I mean, I don't really mind the sanction things because it's not really a major thing for us. Um... This one, however, let's support that. That should put it to the front very quickly. Minus 10% habitability, that's... Uh, it's rather harsh, actually. But 60% diplomatic weight from economy? I think so. What is our habitability? 95, 95. So I think we would drop down to 90. Building a better tomorrow. Yep, we would drop down to 90, but that's not a big problem. Hello. Okay. Um, the diplomatic grants. Let's get that right away. Because we're not doing any mega construction don't need that. Where is the diplomatic grants? There it is. Information quarantine? Governing ethics attraction plus 50%. I don't think that's a very big problem. Even though we have the heretical egalitarian outcasts, they're not really a major faction compared to the other two. I mean, we are authoritarian. Of course we want to declare an information quarantine. I mean, what do you expect here? Why aren't you doing anything? Can you... Are you done surveying? No. Ah, you were the one that... Uh, you were violently thrown out of the... Uh, the loop. 
Okay, so this fleet is back home. Uh, let's reinforce and repair. Why is this fleet so much slower? Do you have any... Ah, plus 25% rendezvous, sp uh, rendezvous speed. Uh, supply speed. That's, that's substantial. Research concluded. Now we can uplift the Azulians, um, which of course would give us some interesting slaves, but they, they don't really like living on our planets, do they? We could always make them prefer to live on ocean, but... Um, Sure, let's set Situation you log has been updated. Just because we can. We've also then obviously completed the epigenetic triggers that unlocked the feature uplift. Huh, everyone is so surprised now. Advanced DNA methylation techniques allow for function functionally significant alterations to be made to arbitrary genomes. That probably also means that we need the one that uh, gives us the ability to uh, change habitability. But until we get that, let's get the uh, commerce megaplexus, or rather, yeah, no, let's get the command re command matrix plus five percent ship fire rate. Thank you. Okay, so you're also almost there, but you're not damaged, so no idea how you managed to do pull off that feat. You have no orders, so go on over there. Resol Three sapient life forms have been uplifted. Very good. Resolute Security Echelon. That is a very interesting name for a fleet. Okay, so we have uplifted the Azulian species to sapiens. We don't have the... Uh, the planet preference thing yet. So these guys are in Chattel slavery, which is excellent. Let us have a look at their uh, citizenship. They are slaves, yes. Um, we can have them in decent conditions, or we can put them in uh, basic subsistence, but I mean, yes, they are slaves, but let's not be inhumane here. Let's have them in basics, in, in decent conditions at least. Military service, um, let's exempt them. I don't want slave armies. Colonization forbidden, yes. Population controls. No, I'm fine with them uh, reproducing. Migration controls. I don't want them migrating around. So we can either have them in chattel slavery that means we get 10% more resources from jobs, but 30% less happiness. They can be in domestic servitude. They will, that means they will increase amenities. Uh, won't be as bad on happiness, but... Battle thralls? No. Or indentured servitude. I don't think I want to let them have... Um, a lot of um, political power, so let's just keep them in uh, in chattel slavery, and we're not purging them. So I guess these guys live on uh, the cathedral. Yeah, we'll pay you your five thousand credits. You are no longer a pre-sapient. Do the month have to change? Ah, there we go. Now I wish I could see... The de yeah, I can see the details. Okay, so... They are working as farmers. Very good. Oh, 
We can build something on Temple of the Squid. 17 housing available. What are we doing on this planet? Metallurgists, artisans. We really don't need that here. These precinct houses, those are the ones that increase to uh, paradise domes. Um, there isn't really much we need here anyways, so I think we'll go with the chemical plants because uh, we need more moats. since we are full. Oh, I have to pause the game. No, we don't really need any of these. We'll just have to remain full. Okay, now let's get the Colonial Viceroys next to increase our Governor level cap by two. We do have an Ascension perk available, but I'm not sure. I might want to save the last one. Which one did I get? I got the Galactic Contender. So I have these three, which actually are my favorite three. Arcology project is nice, but it's not really that necessary when we're going for um, mega structures. And the universal transactions. Uh, I mean, we can pay for the branch offices. It's not a problem. Consecrated worlds is completely out of the question. It does give a nice boost to the unity. Uh, I should say that, but it's at this part of the game, it's not really necessary. One vision. Um, yeah, I do like the one vision, but what I'm wondering is if we might need the Defender of the Galaxy um, Ascension perk. I'll just uh, leave it open for now. You guys actually should go uh, defend your uh, planets instead. To the universe. Kinetic artillery done. Good. An even more powerful long range ship ship based artillery cannon equipped with a new barrel and an upgraded fire control computer. Okay, well, the next thing I think we want then is the uh, citadel. And we should also uh, change our uh, designs here to include. Uh, the upgraded kinetic cannon or artillery I should say I don't want them at range yeah I want them at range 80 even though chance to hit is better than the this it's a very good computer. Meh. <clears throat> Cultist flagship? What? Okay. Where? Right. I have no idea where this is. Oh, okay. So it's up there. This ends here. Uh, not that we're going to do anything about that now, but especially not with our military completed. fleets down here. 
I'd completely forgotten about that. That's been like 20 episodes or something ago. Research concluded. Focused arc emitters. Good, good. These upgraded emitters are equipped with better focusing lenses, resulting in a more powerful energy discharge. New research. Let's get the R. The, oh, okay, let's get the wormhole, sta wormhole stabilization. There shouldn't be any wormholes around, but uh, still. Uh, we need a gene clinic here and the temple. I guess we can go with... We have the Psychor. I guess we'll go with the Ministry of Production since I am doing civilian industries here. Anything else? Nope. Oh, this one is done. Um, yeah, let's get back to that. Let's also upgrade this to a Star Fortress. guys can also move up there, please. You guys can move in there. Wait. I think I want to go after them. So the second tentacular fleet, you can go there, while the first tentacular fleet goes down there. Research concluded. Uh, command matrix complete, ship fire rate plus 5%, and we also get the command center. Restructuring the chain of command and deciding what interdependencies are set between officers make fleets more responsive and effective. Then we want the uh, glandular acclimation so we can make our slaves more happy on our uh, oceanic worlds. We also need to get a gene clinic on uh, the shrine of the Adelidone. Adelia Dome. We're already building something there, so that's fine. Yeah, we're probably going to attack this planet while we or this starbase. Engaging hostile station. Well, Research that's that. concluded. Wormhole stabilization, that unlocks the feature wormhole travel, which I have disabled. I'm not a fan of wormholes. A naturally occurring subspace wormhole is a fickle thing, and its fluctuating energy levels typically make it impossible to travel safely between its linked apertures. There are ways to temporarily stabilize its matrix, however. Then, I guess we want the gateway activation next. And this is going to be a, an interesting little battle. Engaging hostile station. Not a fan of you guys Engaging fleeing. Engaging hostile forces. Should be a walk in the park. Yep, didn't even lose a ship. Can we repair here? Okay, I guess we're gonna go after these then. Uh, you guys can go... Where is the... Oh! I thought there was a planet here. OK, 
Okay, well, I guess we have to go here then. And... Well, maybe we shouldn't go there. Let's go grab that thing. Now they're actually starting to attack them. Minus 20, we're closing in, but our war exhaustion is also at 72%. System concluded. So Engaging hostile station. We have things to build um, on this planet. I think we want hydroponics farms again. On Shrine of the Spirula, we want more civilian industries but before we get that can we build the no we cannot build that yet so we will build civilian industries this one has been upgraded let's upgrade the hollow temple research concluded very good glandular acclimation complete through glandular biological tailoring, we can change the environmental tolerance of a species to suit our needs. That is exactly what we need to do as well. Okay, now we can get the interstellar economics. And we should also have a look at our species and change you guys into ocean preference. Apply template. Situation log has been and updated. There we go. Now. Okay, cultist flagship destroyed. Someone else recently defeated the cultist flagship after a pitched battle in the Hakka system. Our admirals have expressed regret over the fact that our own forces were unable to deliver the killing blow, but at least this would, should signify the end of this malignant cult and its campaign of terror. Uh, let's go grab this planet back. I don't think they have much of a defense. No, they don't. Wait, uh, it's the wrong planet. Research concluded. You want to land there? Armies. Yeah, they have three pitiful armies there. The Senate has voted on and passed the resolution under developed system something. Yep, I'm fine with that. Up to 16,000. We've also completed the research of citadels. Plans for an immense battle station capable of holding its own against several strike fleets are now being drawn up. If realized, these citadels will become monuments to greatness as much as system hubs. Um, I think the next thing then would be Mega Engineering. Hello, thank you. And I guess that we are very close to the end of the episode as well. Let's species modification has concluded. Send these guys up there. Our forces are making planet fall. I don't think that it's a problem the other way around. War report. Enemy planet secured. So we can just go there. Why is this system... Ah, uh, because they have the moon as well. Nineteen, we're getting closer. Forces are making planet fall. War report. Enemy planet secured. Good. Now, there is another resolution in the Senate. Enable council veto power. Yes, I will definitely support that. But I think it's time to end the episode here, so uh, I hope that you enjoyed the episode, even with my uh, initial eight and a half minutes of babbling. And in the next episode, we probably should be finished with this subjugation war. Um, 
I mean, we are very, very close now. 19. It, that should be just a matter of taking a few of these systems and everything should be fine. So thank you all so much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next episode.